This is a tutorial on changing the sand in this sand filter. Uh, I decided to do it because we were getting, no matter how hard we brushed or how much we brushed, we couldn't get it to filter out the sand. So I decided to bust this thing open and uh, see what it took to change out the sand. Um, it is a Stayrite, Pentair Stayrite HRP B30. And I know they have a version 24 as well. It's a little smaller. Um, but if you are a dessert first kind of person, the reality is um, I've worked on cars and this is my first time doing this and it took uh, two days first day was probably eight to nine hours worth and that was that in involved um, breaking everything open cleaning the sand out and cleaning the laterals which are the things inside that help filter out the sand plastic laterals and then the second day was getting the sand back in and um, you know re fastening the top um, and that took another five to six hours so you're probably anywhere from 10 to 12 hours if you have that kind of time and um, some basic skills some basic auto repair skills you're probably fine with this I personally had to spend about 170 bucks to do it so 12 call it 12 hours at 170 bucks if uh, someone is offering to do it to you know do it for you and your trade-off is easier breezier than that and you'd rather have your time and your money or whatever it is then go for it but I figured this would help so that's the bottom line on it I do think that the end result in cleaning the sand is that the pressure is much chill it's it's a it's it's much lower probably by 10 psi um, but uh, so the remainder of this video I'm gonna basically I'm going to include the the link to the, the um, instruction manual for this. I'm going to include what I had to purchase and how much it was in the comments so that it doesn't have to be included here. But um, step by step, as simple as I can possibly describe it, um, I had a grease pencil and was instructed to uh, basically shut everything down and backwash it and then uh, you know release the air pressure here, release the drain plug underneath, and then mark well, not necessarily marked, but they wanted you to, um, you know, undo each bolt in counter fashion, like you would a, a five lug tire, so that you weren't undoing everything from one side and, you know, obviously doing damage to the seals and things inside. So I took the trouble to mark one, two, three, four, all the way around, and this actually has 32 of these bolts. Uh, they're two and three quarter inch bolts by half inch. Um, so I WD-40 it and then took my time with an actual uh, pry bar, uh, not a pry bar, but a, a torque a torque bar, a breaker bar is what it's called. Um, and so there were a three quarter, basically it's a three quarter inch socket or a 19 millimeter socket that I had to use to pinch both sides and then press, press on one side while pulling on the other to get it to break loose and then obviously undo them. Once that's done, this is fiberglass, so you wanna to be totally dressed, you know, to where it's not, you're not gonna get it cutting up your arms and stuff, but you're gonna to have to bear hug that top you know, or use someone else to do it with you and pull the thing off. Um, and once you pull it off, uh, I found that there was sand and one of the top distributors, there's like two circles and they have holes in it where it sprays the water. Uh, out and pushes it down through the sand those two plastic things one of those was off so you'll see the situation that you have um, and basically it just boiled down to slowly and carefully skimming off all the sand and taking the sand out of there. there's 400 pounds of it so get a wheelbarrow get a uh, a small you know gardeners spade just a hand spade so that you can work gently around the plastic interiors um, so scoop all that stuff out. I took the time to spray it down and kind of wash it and then there are laterals inside. I think there were 12, no there are 14 of them and they're basically, it's just like a star. There's like tubes, right? And they're plastic tubes. The way it works is it's a, it's a quarter inch, it's like a quarter turn and then you pull it out. But there's dirt in the little grooves, right? So you have to like work it back and forth and get it to like break free so that it's you can tell it's pushing out the dirt out of the grooves and then it basically stops and then you can kind of like wiggle it out and each one of those I did and each one of those I took a little wire brush 
and cleaned out the little slats in it. The way it works is the water filters down through the sand and then basically the water pushes through the slats in those laterals and then gets sucked back into the system. So if they're clogged up with sand, then it's going to uh, obviously you know, cause higher pressure. It's not going to be sucking the water back in as much. So, um, so that was that. On the back side, I had specific sand. You have to you have to take care to buy the a very specific sand with a coefficient. That's that's right. I found some. I had to actually have it ordered. So it took this project took me a week or so because I had to order the cord ring, which is the seal. That was forty bucks, and then there was a little air pressure distributor thing in there that was ripped off that I decided to replace as well just because so that had something to do with the 170 bucks but um, replace that stuff put the sand in as instructed the replacement sand you put basically put water in halfway and then you pour your sand in and it takes the pressure and the weight off of the the laterals as you're pouring sand in and it fills up and then uh, you go ahead and reverse the process of picking this big bad boy up sticking it on there now the cord ring was weird you know, it comes to me in a package and it was rolled, so it was tough to get it to lay in this little, there's a groove here. It was tough to get it to lay in that groove, um, but kind of once I did, I kind of forced it in there and kept working with it. It sat for a second and I kind of, again, bear hugged this and just very carefully dropped it over the top so that the weight of it held the cord ring from springing out of its spot and space. You're uh, not wanting to get any sand in the groove because it messes up the ability to compress and keep this thing pressurized. So uh, that, I think, is the gist of it. Obviously, again, the instruction manual will tell you all the different things you need to do to depressurize it. Um, and it, it's, it's not that much. You just have to, it's like baking a cake. You just have to be careful uh, to follow instructions uh, one by one, but it, it seems to work great. Um, it didn't necessarily clean out all the sand but out of the pool but um, you know it's uh, it's been day two or so and we're going to continue to work with it but it does seem to be working easier and uh, at least one step closer to getting my pool clean uh, if you have questions I'm gonna put my email address in there too feel free to send emails it's fine with me um, I was sending this out putting this email out or this this video out because I'm trying to help people so um, I know it's not interesting to look at, but hopefully it was very helpful. Um, much love. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck.